congratulations, Mona. I Thank just wanted you. to ask you, can you talk us through the match a little? Yes, um, I think it was an amazing match. It was the first time for me on Rod Laver, so I was a little bit nervous <laughs> stepping out. But when I was on court, I think the crowd was amazing. Of course, they supported her a lot, um, but um, still it was a great atmosphere and I enjoyed every minute of it. Um, I was starting to feel a little bit tired, I have to say. <laughs> I think I already played five matches here, so it was a lot. Um, but I was just trying to fight for every point and I'm happy that I was able to turn it around. Yes, that's great. And, um, and about the second set, um, Basically, what were you thinking when you, you, know, the, you lost the second set there? I mean, I think she played great. She was serving really well and uh, she was playing really aggressive, so it was really tough for me to get into the match. But I was just saying, you know, it's a third set. It's not too bad. So <laughs> just going to refocus. And we had a little time because the roof closed. So I was just trying to take advantage of it, trying to eat a little bit to get some energy. And uh, then... Yeah, just going out there and try to fight for every point. You must have come into tonight's game with some level of confidence. You haven't dropped a set yet at this year's tournament. And last time you faced um, Barty, you defeated her. So did you have any expectations before the match? I mean, it was tough because I haven't seen her play in a long time. You know, she took some time off. And so um, I think she was really fresh. She was really hungry, of course, playing in Australia. So I was just trying to focus on my game, trying to serve well, trying to be aggressive. So I think that that was the main main thing. And of course, play, winning five matches in a row gives you a lot of confidence. But every day is a new day. So you have to, um, yeah, you have to put your level and have to give everything. Um, last year, you, ha you struggled a little bit with some health um, issues. Um, so, uh, you know, how are you feeling now and what, what are you aiming to achieve for this year? Yeah, it was a really tough year last year for me. You know, I was, uh, I was actually, I was lying in bed for two and a half months and I couldn't do anything. So I uh, really, um, physically, it was tough to get back and also mentally because they didn't really have a diagnosis. So it was really tough. And for some time, I didn't really know if I could play tennis ever again. So it, mentally, it was really tough and physically as well. And I think I started a little bit too early, but you never know it at that time. But it took me a lot of time to come back. And actually, since December, I'm feeling much better. And I was able to put uh, get the practice hours in and put the work in. And that also gave me a lot of confidence. You know, I can play the long rallies again. I can play three sets again. And I think that's all paying off. Um, but of course, I still have to pay attention to my body because it's still not at 100%. But, um, you know, I'm working towards it. And I think uh, Playing so many matches in so many matches in a row um, is definitely a good sign. <laughs> That's terrific, Mona. Um, look, you now move into the fourth round for the first time at a Grand Slam, and you're up against former world number one Venus Williams. What will you do uh, to prepare, prepare for the match? Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough match. I think she's an amazing player. She has had so much success and. Um, if she's on, she's really tough to beat. So, um, but I mean, I won six matches in a row. I'm just going to get out there. I'm just going to enjoy it and I try my best and whatever happens will happen. It's still going to be a great tournament for me. So. <laughs>